Now, our next chapter, chapter three, we're going to be talking about um, some geometry concepts. First thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about parallel lines and angle pairs. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a set of parallel lines. We use triangles on the line, on the set of lines, to indicate that they are parallel. So these built-in triangles means that we have parallel lines. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a line that crosses these other two lines. That line is called a transversal. And a transversal is a line that crosses two or more lines. And with this relationship, I've got some different regions I want to talk about. I want to talk about this region right here in between the parallel lines. I call that interior. And then the parts that are outside the parallel lines, we're going to call exterior. Okay, when I have two lines cut by a transversal, I end up with eight different angles. I'm going to call that angle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have angles that are on the same side. I have angles that are on opposite sides of each other. I have exterior angles. I've got interior angles. We're going to talk about these angle pairs um, that we have here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go to a different page for each different type of angle pair. I'm going to reproduce this drawing in a little bit smaller scale, and then talk about each type of angle pair. And the first pairs, let me draw the lines. I'm going to keep them in the same color. I'm going to make them a little closer together. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first pairs I want to talk about are called corresponding angles. Okay. These are angles that map. To same location. And this is what I'm going to talk about mapping to the same location. If I take this upper region right here and this lower region down here, and I were to take that lower region and slide it up onto the top region, which ones match up with each other? Okay. And the ones that match up with each other are angle one and angle five. Okay. So the symbol for an angle is something that's flat, okay? But a lot of times students don't make it flat and it almost looks like an inequality symbol. So, so I can know the difference between an inequality symbol and your angle. Please put a little arc like I did here. So angle one goes with angle five. Two goes with six.
Reed goes with seven. And four goes with eight. And here's what's neat. If you have two parallel lines, cut by a transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. And that's this symbol right here. This means same shape. That's my similar symbol. Then we have my equal bar. I mean, same size. So congruent means same size and same shape. So you know they have the same angle measurement. So if angle five has a measurement of 85 degrees, that means angle one has a measurement of 85 degrees. That's our first set of angles. Next ones are redraw the drawing. Mark them as parallel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to call alternate exterior angles. Okay. So I'm going to pick an angle that's on the outside. I'm going to pick angle one. Alternate means on the opposite side of transversal. And that would be eight. So I have angle one and angle eight. Do the same thing here. I'm going to pick two. Opposite side of the transversal, outside, that's going to be seven. The fact that we know about these is similar to the fact about corresponding angles. If you have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, then the alternate Exterior angles are congruent. That means angle one has the same measure as angle eight, angle two has the same measure as angle seven. Next set of angle pairs. 
is called alternate interior angle. While I'm getting the page set up, you should be able to hopefully figure out what I mean by alternate interior angles. Parallel lines. Alternate means opposite sides of the transversal. Interior means in between the two parallel lines. Opposite side of the transversal, in between the two parallel lines. So pick an interior angle. And it's matching one is the one opposite, angle three with angle six. Pick an interior angle, angle four, the one opposite, that would be angle five. Just like the other two, if I have two, oops, let me make sure I mark these parallel. If you have two parallel lines. Up by a transversal. Then the alternate. Interior angles are congruent. Okay. Next set we're going to talk about are consecutive. interior angles another name for this would be same side interior angles Let me draw the picture One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mark these as parallel. So same side interior, pick an interior angle, pick the one that's on the same side. That would be angle three and angle five. Pick one that's on the interior, pick the one that's on the same side. That would be angle four and angle six. These are not necessarily congruent if you have two parallel lines, parallel lines cut by a transversal. Then the consecutive interior angles are supplementary. means they add to 180 degrees. But this is telling me, 
back down. Is that the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle five is equal to 180 degrees. Also that the measure of angle four plus the measure of angle six is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. So that's what I get just by facts of parallel lines cut by a transversal. I'm going to talk about a couple more other angle pairs. Okay. And the first angle pairs I want to talk about are what I'm going to call linear pairs. And these are always supplementary. Which means they add up to 180. So any angles that are on the same line, so 1 and 2, 2 and 4, 3 and 4, 1 and 3. Angle two and four. Angle three and four. And angle one and three. Okay. Then we have vertical angles. And these are always congruent. That means they measure the same thing. This means they're opposite sides. Of a vertex. That would be one and four. And two and three. If you put all of that together and you have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, there are only two possible measurements for any one of those angles. Because a lot of stuff is congruent to each other, okay? And a lot of pairs add up to 180 degrees. So, I'm going to start here in the upper right hand corner. That angle and that angle are the same because they're vertical angles. This top angle and this angle right here are the same because they are corresponding angles. Okay, and this one's a vertical to this one. Those four angles are all going to have the same measurement. Similarly, these two angles are the same, and they are the same as those angles. Okay. The triangles are how I mark parallel lines. Little arcs are how I mark angles being congruent to each other. Okay. So what does that leave us with? That leaves us with... Um, doing the IXL. So let me get set up for showing you the IXL for this. Um, I need to go to learning. And we're IXL grab. We are now in chapter three. Identify alternate interior exterior angles, transversal, name it angle pairs and find measures. Let me move my keyboard over. 
For those that are finding angle measurements, go ahead and use a calculator. They're either probably going to add up to 180 or they're going to be the same. So that's the key fact you want to have. Um, parallel lines cut by a transversal, which are exterior angles, IJL. So IJL is exterior. Does it with KJL? Nope. These are a linear pair. They're on the same side of a line. So no. IJL with KJG. Nope. Those are vertical angles. IJL with HGE. Yep. There's your answer. Okay, they're looking for exterior angles with YXZ. YXZ's exterior is TUS right here. Alternate interior for GFI. GFI is this angle right here in the middle. Its other interior would be HIF. Exterior with GFH. GFH is this lower right, so I'm going to go upper left. A, C, B. B, C, A. There we go. Alternate exterior with KJH. KJH is upper right. Exterior would be lower left. L, M, O. L, M, O. Interior. With CDG, CDG is this one here. That's going to be HGD. Um, interior with UTW. UTW is this lower right. So I'm going to go upper left, VWT. Exterior with LMK. LMK is upper right, so I'm going to go lower left, RPQ, QPR. Takes eight questions, about two and a half minutes. So let's go ahead and go back and show you the next one. Naming angle pairs. Um, which are supplementary. So I'm going with JIL. Supplementary means that they add up to 180. So JIL is this one right here. Um, supplementary can be ILM. That's this one, not listed. It could be HIL. That one's listed. Let's look at KLI. Nope, those would be congruent. HIG. Nope, they'd be congruent. MLN. Nope, they would be congruent. Which are corresponding to MNK. MNK corresponding. So that's right here. That's my number five angle. So down here with eight would be ONP. It's corresponding to MNK. Oh, MNK. PNO. Oh, corresponding is maps. MNK would be the five maps to one, which would be IKJ. IKJKI. Supplementary to DCA would be DCF, the ACB. Vertical angles to UVX. UVX would be WVS. Vertical angle to ONQ. ONQ would be LNM. LNM. Yep. Corresponding to MLO. MLO is right here. So it's going to slide down to be QOP. P O Q. Supplementary to OPN. OPN. N P Q. N P Q. Alternate interior to F G D. F G D 
would be C, D, G. Okay. This one here, they don't all have this same thing. So let's look at F, G, D with E, D, G. That's a no. H, G, D with E, D, B. No, those are corresponding. C, D, B, that's inter exterior, so that doesn't work. H, G, I, that's exterior. H, G, I is exterior, so that will not work. C, D, B is exterior, so that will not work. F, G, D, that's this angle, with E, D, G, that's that angle. Those are alternate interior. Alternate exterior, B U W, B U W, Q R U, nope, Q R P, the T U W, no, those are same side exterior, B U W with Q R P, that one. Corresponding, X Y W, X Y W, with U T W, that is correct. Alternate exterior, UVX, UVX, supposed to go with TSQ, nope, RSQ, go with XVW, XVW, that one. So 11 questions in a little over four minutes. And the last one, finding angle measurements. If JKH is 140, J K H is 140. What is L K M? L K M. They're going to be the same. C D B is 65. F G D. They're going to be the same. 65. So I'll tell you, these are either going to be the same or they're going to add to 180. ONP. ONP is 41. What is MNK? MNK, 41. They're vertical angles. VWT. VWT is 50. Um, UTW. So this angle right here and this angle right here, they're same because they're alternate interior. NMP, NMP is 112, OPM is going to be 112, alternate interior. KLO is 121, KLO is 121, POL, also going to be 121, alternate interior. ONQ, ONQ is 44, RQS is 44. ONQ, these two are corresponding, so they're congruent. Um, OPM, 62, NMP, NMP, OPM, NMP, 62, 62. Hopefully it gets me to a level three question. BUW is 131. BUW 131. What is TUR? TUR, vertical angles, 131. I'm going to skip it to a level three question. HIK is 121. What is GFI? H I K G F I. Well, these two angles have to add up to 180, so this one would be 59. So that was showing you one where they add to 180. O P M, O P M, N M K, 
N M K O P M N M K. Those two have to add up to 180. So that one's going to be 46. So again, um, they're either going to be the same or they're going to add up to 180 in this last set. So let's go back to this. Um, not only do you do a paper test, you're going to have to not only say what angle measurements are, but you're going to have to tell me why. So you're going to have to be able to name the different types of angle pairs. Please make sure that you have these facts written in your notes. Um, that, hey, if you have the parallel lines cut by a transversal, what things are congruent and stuff with each other. That should be plenty to get you through um, section 3.1.